Hi all, I am Disha Shukla and welcome to the session. Now if you have been following the whole series, you must have seen that we started with the what is signals, what are the different types of signals, what are the different types of transmission medium, what are the different types of networks that is LAN, MAN, WAN, what are the different transmission mediums like the twisted peer cables, the coaxial cables, the radio waves, etc. Again, then then we saw what uh, how the evaluation of the communication system came came across. What is one G, two G, three G, four G? What are its uh, how on which what, which properties can they be classified? And then we saw what is uh, hexagonal cell geometry. What is frequency reuse? And we also saw different switching techniques like the packet switching, circuit switching, message switching, etc. So if you are aware that we are uh, slowly and steadily moving on towards the next towards the topics that are related for the wireless communication we also saw what are antennas and what are the different types of antenna now the next thing that we will be discussing will be propagation modes now we already saw what are signals how are signals transmitted or received but on what propagation modes does this signal travel but before that what are the signals that is what are these electromagnetic waves now electromagnetic waves that are also called as electromagnetic radiations are basically defined as superimposed oscillations of an electric and magnetic field in the space with the direction of propagation that is perpendicular to both of them in simple words Electromagnetic waves are the oscillations produced due to crossover of the electric and a magnetic field. The direction of propagation of such wave is perpendicular to the direction of the force of either of these fields as we have seen. Like all the waveforms, they have some properties as well. Now moving on to some of the properties of electromagnetic waves are this waves travels at the speed of light. These waves do not require any medium for propagation. That is, they travel using air. Electromagnetic waves travel in transverse form. Electromagnetic waves are not deflected by electric or magnetic field. The electromagnetic waves can be polarized and the last property being electromagnetic waves undergo interference and diffraction now this is the whole about now this is about what are the electromagnetic waves or what are their properties but our point of discussion is how the propagation what is their propagation mode so basically an electromagnetic wave follows three types of propagation modes the first one is the ground, prop ground wave propagation, the next we have a sky wave propagation and the last one being line of sight propagation. Now a ground wave propagation is used for a low frequency range transmission, mostly less than 1 megahertz. This type of propagation employs the use of large antennas in that are order of the order of which is equivalent to the wavelength of the waves and uses the ground or troposphere for its propagation the signals over a large distance are not sent using this method it causes severe attenuation which increases with increase in the frequency of the wave so as you can see in the figure, the ground wave propagation transmit it follows the contour of the earth and hence they propagate. Mostly the frequencies up to 2 megahertz can be transmitted and an example can be an AM radio. The next type of propagation mode is the sky wave propagation. So as the name suggests sky wave, it is used for propagation of the electromagnetic waves with the frequency range of 3 to 30 megahertz it makes the use of ionosphere so called due to the presence of the charged ions in the region of about 60 to 300 kilometers from the earth's surface these ions provide a reflecting medium to the radio or communication waves within a particular frequency range 
We use this property of ionosphere for a long distance transmission of the wave without much attenuation and loss of signal strength. Another important point to note in this consideration is the consideration of the angle of emission of these waves from the ground. The transmitter emits the electromagnetic waves at a critical angle to ensure total reflection to the ground just like the total internal reflection of the optic waves, the ones that we saw in optical fibers. Otherwise, the waves may escape into the space. Now, as you can see in the figure that whenever a transmitter transmits the signal, it will be totally internal, ref uh, total internal reflection will take place at the ionosphere. Now, ionosphere has some free charges, free ions available. So, with using that, those signals will be transmitted. An example of a sky wave propagation, I mean the ones that use sky wave propagation is a major radio and CB radio. Moving on towards the next type that is line of sight propagation or you can say space wave propagation. The line of sight is also called LOS, space satellite communication and very high frequency waves use this propagation modes. It basically involves sending a signal in a straight line from the transmitter to the receiver. We must ensure that for a very large distance, the height of the tower used for transmission is high enough to prevent the waves from touching the earth curvature, thus preventing attenuation and loss of signal. This is very, there is a very important relationship for determining the height of the antenna and their corresponding distance of transmission. It is given by it is, it is given as dm is equal to 2r h1 plus 2r h2 where dm is the distance between the antennas, r is the radius of the earth, h is the height of the antenna and h2 is the height of the receiver antenna. Also very important to note is the another important relation to determine the range of the transmission dt for a given antenna of height h. So, dt is equal to 2rh, where again r is the radius of the earth and h is the, antenna, is the height of the antenna. The another relation that we need to see here is that the optical line of sight d can be given as 3.57 under root of h and the effective or radial line of sight d can be equal to 3.57 under root of kh where D is the distance between the antenna and the horizon, H is the antenna height and K is the adjustment factor to account for the reflection and as a thumb rule K is generally equal to 4 by 3. So this is all about the propagation modes. In short, propagation modes are, divide, are three types. The first one is the ground wave wherein the waves are transmitted with the help of the ground. The second is the sky wave wherein the waves are transmitted by reflecting from the ionosphere. That is why it is called the sky wave. And the third one is called the space wave or the line of sight where the two antennas need to where the two antennas directly communicate to each other and hence they must be nearer to each other so that there, there is no attenuation. So basically based on this we can say that a ground wave antenna is used when you want to transmit data for a short distance. Line of sight can be used for a middle way distance but then you need to define the height of the antenna accordingly. And the third type that is the space uh, sky wave uh, propagation. You can use sky wave propagation when you want to send the data for a large distance. I hope this is clear the propagation modes of the electromagnetic waves. If you have any query, you can contact me. Until then, keep learning.